everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Richard Seilitz, I'm the owner of redpants.lol and I am still here in Poland because we are gonna be filming all day and this is one of the videos that we are making. And you can probably tell that it is about these ski slopes, sometimes called the waterfall panel or waterfall dash panel. There's a lot of different names for it. But if you've got an Aston Martin from the Gaten area, you surely recognize this. And if you have one in piano black, you surely recognize this crack because it's super common. So one of the products that ECPS makes is a carbon fiber veneer. And when I say veneer, it's because of the way these panels are constructed. It is actual carbon fiber. It is not fake, it's not a wrap, it's actual carbon fiber. But it's done as thin as possible so that it can be put on this in a way that allows you to retain the buttons and the vents and the top without having any difference in the buttons being pushed out or not far out enough. So we're gonna show you the process of what it takes to get this veneer onto this waterfall dash so you can have an end result that looks like this. We're in the room where they do the cutting and trimming of carbon fiber panels and start bonding them together. And this is also the room where they do grinding. Now this is something that you can do yourself if you wanna get this veneer and put it on your original ski slope. However, as you're about to see, it's not something I'd necessarily recommend because it's a little intense. Let's see how this goes. So what we've got here is the sanded down or the ground down frame. Um, you can tell how deep this goes. And when you look at it from the side, you can tell as well, but seeing it actually shaved away gives you an idea of how thick this veneer is. Uh, but you have to get it down that low because once you add in this carbon fiber, it's gonna be a little bit thicker. Um, without doing this, without grinding this all the way down, first of all, the carbon fiber panel, the veneer is not gonna actually adhere to this with the epoxy that you need to use to keep it in place. And then if you, again, if you do put it on top of this, that's gonna raise the level of this up to where the buttons aren't gonna actually stick all the way in and be able to fix in place. They're not gonna actually clip. So it's a matter of, you know, the actual process of doing this. It's not just because it's an easy, because it's definitely not easy, uh, but it's the way you need to do it to make everything fit right. And then you're still not done. And the reason is because once it's on there, you need to fill in the sides and then you need to buff those down and then you need to coat it again because any of that buffing that you do to finish the edges to make it just right can take away that clear coat and you'll wanna spray it again. So and that is, you know, the, the whole point of this video is that you can do this yourself, but when it comes down to it, the biggest issue is that it's extremely labor intensive and it's not something that you can do over, whether you damage this and you can no longer use it or you damage the veneer and you have to buy another one, it's pretty difficult. Now, for those of you that are wondering, well, why not just get another one of these and make it from scratch? Why not do the whole thing? That's because the back end is not exactly easy to do that with. You can, you know, this is all um, a molded, was this cast aluminum, that is what this is. And it's done this way for structural integrity and because this is kind of a complex piece. It may seem simple, it may seem just like a curved frame, but when this is actually in the car with everything attached to it, it gets really complicated really quickly. So it's not practical to make it out of anything else. So once again, if you are interested in this, you can do it yourself. I'll have instructions on redpants.lol, but I would highly recommend leaving it to the professionals and sending it here to ECPS. So this is the end result, of course, with a little bit of a change because this has got the custom larger opening, but you can see the finish of the veneer itself. This is actual carbon fiber veneer um, that has been overlaid. The edges have been sealed and then it was finished so that everything fits properly. Again, if you don't do all that prep work and the grinding and everything else, then the issue you're gonna have is that these buttons and vents won't sit right because this will be so thick that you can't push the buttons in far enough to clip them in place. They'll be loose so you have a lot of work to do if you want to do this or do it the easy way and just send the panel to ECPS to do it for you if you'd like more information about how to do this how to pull this out of your car how to take care of any of this and some options make sure you check out redpants.lol and also ECPS's own website all the information of which will be down in the description below hope you like the video and I will see you in the next one